Hello everyone and welcome back to the most epicest horror game news show on YouTube.com. Today we have three more stories for you. The developers of Little Nightmares Tarsier Studios just announced a new upcoming game, Dark Deception Chapter 5 got its mannequin enemies revealed, and the survival horror game Sons of the Forest has been delayed. On May 24th, 2022, Tarsier Studios posted the six second clip to their Twitter page captioned, We've been busy, implying that they are working on a new game. The video itself is also quite interesting, showing a broken down house with very similar art style to the signature eerie yet beautiful style of Little Nightmares. A split second later we get a shot of a modern looking car driving down a lonely road, which definitely isn't something that is seen in Little Nightmares. So even from these first few images, you can probably get the idea that this game will be significantly different from Little Nightmares. The last thing shown in the teaser is some sort of horrible monster clinging to the top of a house. This creature definitely seems to be within keeping of Little Nightmares contorted body horror style, and looks to be even more inhuman than the creatures seen within Little Nightmares. The thing seems to be made up of numerous legs and arms, looking like some sort of horrific fusion of many different bodies. No title has been provided for this game yet, with the Tarsier Studios logo being the only thing shown over the teaser. The only other thing that they've shown off from this game is an image on their Twitter banner of these rocky cliffs by a dreary looking lake with a little tent and campsite set up below. With how little we've seen of this game so far, I'd presume it's very early in development and expect a late 2023 or early 2024 release date. God, it feels so weird to even say those years out loud. Okay, next news. Dark Deception Chapter 5 seems to be ramping up development with the reveal of these mannequin enemies for its shopping mall chapter. On May 7th, the Dark Deception Twitter account posted this image with the caption, First look at the red ones. These are just some of the enemies you will encounter in Dark Deception Chapter 5. These mannequins almost seem to be mutated in some way, with their pointy limbs and heads. The boy mannequin even has an extra pair of arms growing out of his sides, which to be honest looks kind of weird. Perhaps these designs will be redone a little when they are textured and actually put into the game and everything. They're still very cool though, and have the potential for a lot of unsettling varied designs. So between these character reveals, and the screenshots inside them all showing various shops and things, I think what we've seen of Dark Deception 5 so far looks pretty cool. But that's not the only piece of news we got recently for Dark Deception Chapter 5. Recently Dark Deception tweeted, The final chapter of the now titled Shattered Ring arc, Dark Deception Chapter 5, will be titled Faded Conclusion. So, we finally have a title for Dark Deception Chapter 5, which is pretty cool. Now, what's interesting about this is that they are now referring to the Dark Deception game as the Shattered Ring arc, which I think definitely implies that they already have plans to possibly add on to Dark Deception more in the future with even more DLC or maybe even make an entirely new Dark Deception game, which I think is definitely very interesting. Okay, final story. Sons of the Forest has been delayed to October 2022. Sons of the Forest is the highly anticipated sequel to The Forest, which is basically just Minecraft RTX, and then RTX again. Okay, seriously, it's a horror game that has you trapped on a forest island, chopping down trees, looking for resources, and fighting against deformed monsters known as the Creepy Mutants. Over the past few years, End Night Games, the developer of The Forest, has released several trailers showing off the new and improved building, mechanics, weapons, hidden locations, and lore in this new game. And of course, terrifying new monsters, like this horrific toothy guy, or this two-headed worm creature, and this giant fleshy abomination, which does bear a passing resemblance to the blob from the end of the first game even appearing in similar locations, both residing in this underground lab underneath the forest. Sons of the Forest has some of the best creature design on god! Okay, Sons of the Forest seems to center around what is theorized to be the son of the original protagonist, Eric, hence the name, returning to the island many years later and teaming up with this currently unnamed woman who appears to have been mutated by Sahara Corporation like many of the monsters on the island, but somehow retained her consciousness through the experiments. Overall, everything from the graphics to the gameplay looks top-notch and a huge improvement of the first. So yes, the game has been delayed to October of 2022, and even if I am very disappointed I'll have to wait that long for its release, I am super excited to actually play this game when it comes out. Alright, so I brought the new show back. Yeah, I know, I know. I didn't think I would either, but uh, here we are. I mean, there really wasn't like any news for like nine months to, to make one of these again, but you know what? I'm, I'm making more of them also because it's summer again and I have infinite time to make videos. 
Uh, so yeah, why don't you like, like and subscribe to hit all that engagement, watch time, and other stuff that I pretend not to care about. And goodbye. I'll, I'll see you in the next one.